Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I'm just hanging out. Just doing doing my thing. And what I'm doing is about to attack another Borgia Tower. Check this out. I thought that the dotted lines... Well, okay. The dotted lines actually have meant that's where the invisible wall was that I couldn't go through to desync. But I haven't tried it since we started this sequence. Turns out, I can get through this stuff. Um, there was one viewpoint I hit around this area, which also unlocked another Templar Agents mission. But, um, I went north, and there's a Borgia Tower up here. And because I have shown so little of them, I figured, eh, let's show one. Um, partially because I, I think someone had asked early on in the LP if we could make sure that we try and show those. So, I'm actually going to see if I can get away with using my crossbow a little bit. Which I think would be really, really fun to just walk around and kind of blast people. The problem is there's a lot of guys, so I'm going to have to be super, super careful. But if I can sneak up and get close to that tower, I'll be alright. It's just going just gonna to play it cool. Those guys don't see me... somehow. Alright, I think I'm going to run around the back here. I think my horse is also trying to... Oh, yeah, careful, careful, careful. These guys are walking in a very tight circle from what I can tell. Woo! Cool. Alright, looking pretty good right now. There's guys... Looks to be over here somewhere. I don't know if they're moving. I might be able to get close enough just to shoot the dude. Which would be... One heck of a time saver. But he's also going to have to be pretty close. Let's see here. These guys over there don't see me. Doesn't look like there's anyone over there who can see me. There's guys down there. Those guys don't see me somehow. We're going to have to get much closer to get to that guy, though. I think I need to approach... I actually need to approach from this side. Whoop! Which sucks. Definitely. But I think I'm going to have an easier time if I come around from the other side. So just be careful. There's a bunch of guys around the corner here. But they're probably not going to pay me much mind as long as I'm not sprinting my brains out or anything. Okay, now I'm out of the restricted zone. I can see the dude from here. So he's... He, oh yeah, I can get real close to him from this side. Careful. I might be able to shoot him from here. Oh my god. Let me get my pistol. I may actually be able to shoot him from here. That would be amazing. Let's see, who's over this wall? Foliage. There's foliage over the wall. Okay, there's a lot of... There's actually a lot of dudes. They're making the rounds. If I can wait till this guy comes around, I can just shoot him with my gun. And it will be awesome. I just gotta be careful because those... Those guards are gonna be doing their thing. But I should be close enough to lock onto that guy up there. He's just gotta walk this way. Now's my chance. Ha! LOL! I'm just going to go ahead and loot this guy because no one seems to notice me right now. He had lots of stuff. Don't say anything. Hey, what's up? Oh, I guess I can't have that. Oh, God! Ow! Give me that weapon! Butthole! Ugh! Yeah! Eat it! Kick! Punt! You guys wanna play? Okay, ow! Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's get that, that health up in there. Kick him! Nice! Woo! 
Okay. More guys coming. What do you want? Butthole. I don't even have a weapon. There we go. Okay. Ow. Ow. Jesus. Assassins! Come assist! Because I can't... But I literally can't move and my camera is stuck. Like, I can't... Start swinging. Like, I... This is actually kind of ridiculous. I can't move my camera. And I can't move me. Wow. I probably would have died there because I actually had my sword equipped and I was swinging, but I couldn't kill him. That's a little preposterous. Alright, let's go on up. Because there ain't nobody going to give us a hard time now. That's a good way to start. I don't know if the other areas are open, but I have a feeling that they may be. They, they may be open at this point. Take my notoriety down a little bit. See if I can figure out how to get up there. It doesn't really matter at this point because I have the climbing glove. Whew! And as some of you had pointed out, and I had pointed out at some point, um, you can ignite the towers and it will give you the viewpoint. So whenever I do this, it should just automatically give me the viewpoint. Hooray! It's another Borgia Tower down. See? Viewpoint synchronized 20 to 24. Now, this is also beneficial because this allows us to have um, another assassin. So we should see assassin recruits on the, the map again. Yep, they're everywhere. So now if we go to one of these places, gather another recruit, they will start from the bottom, unfortunately. But they can start climbing the ranks and leveling up and whatnot. Exciting! Super, super exciting. We're not going to do that right now. We're not going to go after all of this stuff. I'm probably going to do this off screen. I believe that's the last of the Borgia Towers. Um, and also, let's see, there's only like three or four more viewpoints. So after these, I think there's one down here, and then we've pretty much got everything. I don't, like I said, I don't know if the entire map is open to us right now, but if it is, I will take care of it between episodes, and it will be awesome, and we will have pretty much everything, which will be nice. For now, we are going to head to. Um, hmm. I was going to do a layer of Romulus, but to be honest, we may be a little pressed for time because sometimes those take a while. Eh, we'll do it anyway. Quickly, to the lair of Romulus. Yeah, why not? I am I mean, I'm loaded. I don't really know why I wouldn't just buy it at this point. It's increasing my income, even though it's not going to increase it enough to warrant the purchasing of these things, but well, it's stuff I'm going to buy anyway. All right, so I got it. <laughs> Maybe Ezio is bad with his money, but I have so stinking much of it. We are going to see the lair of Ramya. Oh, here it is. It's weird. I feel like we were here before, but maybe not. I guess not. Either way, another lair of Romulus coming at you right this second. I'm so tired of entering the sewers. The stench is so bad. Oh, this one was locked. I took care of that right away. In we go. Where are we now? We are in some sort of mess. <laughs> also, during the loading screen, I learned something. I'll show you guys in a minute. Throw into the wolves. Find the shrine to Romulus. Full synchronization. Do not lose more than three blocks of health. Now, during cutscenes, they tell you that you can... Um, you can do different things with your weapons if you hold the button instead of, you know, tap the button. And I learned if you're disarmed and you hold the button, that's how you do sand attack. If you want to turn Ezio into a Pidgey, all you gotta do is hold X. Kaka! That's gonna come in really handy, but not until I find an enemy. All right, so it sounds like there's a friggin' treasure around somewhere. Not exactly sure where. Also, the game gets a little easier um, when you have the climb glove. So I'm like super, super glad that we bothered to get that because uh, there's certainly sequences that can be shorter. When I say sequences, I'm not referring to actual sequences, but I think you guys understand that. Let's see if I can... Is this... This looks like some sort of rampy poo. Maybe. Where does it want me to go? Oh, I see. It's also dark in here, like every other freaking thing. Um, okay. The missions are being successful, so that's good. Let's go this way. And there we go. Got some sort of lever. 
How would he know? How would he know to do that? It's so crazy. Alright, so over. More climbing. Yeah. Just be very careful. Oh, I see a dude. I see a dude. Oh, is this going to be a chase mission? Kill him. <laughs> okay. Sure. All right, whatever. Sure. Let's do it, guys. What up? One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, that was cake, bro. Of course. By your Borgia masters, you know nothing. I know you receive enciphered letters from them. Prove your innocence. Tell me where the code sheet is hidden. Never! All right. Now it's a chase mission. I like the chase missions. They're fun. Uh, na, 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 na. This way. Oh, God. Yeah, reduced it. Yeah, okay. Don't you think I'm working on that? Christ almighty. That's not the easiest thing to do. Oh, God. It's alright. I can. I, can, I was going to say, I can fix this. Stop telling me to reduce distance. To I'm aware that I need to be reducing the distance to target. Woo! And this direction. Holy balls! Ugh. I like these missions because they require you to think really, really fast. And I think it's fun. I think it's a lot more fun that way. Alright, so this way. Gonna head left. Merda. Which one is it? Where are you? It's also kind of weird that there's a party going on down here. But whatever. There's no reason to just walk around and kill people aimlessly. Oh, there's like a golden path leading me there. Okay, well that helps. Alright. Where'd you go, buddy? Target located? I don't see him. Wait, where is he? Where'd he... I don't... I don't understand. It told me... What? Oh, okay, he's this way. <laughs> I need to check my radar. There you are! Hi, pal! Uh, okay, you want to play hard, huh? Hard to get. I can do that. Up we go. Perfect. Okay, can I have a horse, too? Because that seems... Yeah, I can. Great. Mount a horse. Slowly. Mount a horse slowly. Gallop! What's interesting is that gallop is only available at certain times in the game. Sometimes they let you gallop, sometimes they don't. But this is one of those times that they do. Also, the horses don't control all that great, but yeah, it's, it's working. It's working. I'm getting close to you! This is a fun mission. I love the chase missions. I, I loved them in... um. I mean, technically there were some in uh, in one and also two, but man, they're fun. Horse to horse assassination, coming at you. Where'd he go? Okay. Oh, I have the wrong thing equipped. That's why. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where are you? Did he? Wait. Where'd he? Where is he? Oh, de oh, he oh, he's dead. Okay, great. I was confused. I was like, wait, what's going on? Yeah, you dead. That one took too long for the animation. Oh, friggin' get out of here. Okay. Woo. All right, bro. What you got on you? I didn't even realize you died. We just we jumped into a, uh, just a piss load of people. It's kind of hard to tell what was happening. All right, so that guy's dead. That made my day. Let's go up, because uh, this is not over. Chasing him was only part of it. <laughs> Good job, Ezio. Want to try that again? Let's climb up here. I guess I could just take it slow and guarantee that I get there instead of just jumping haphazardly and being like, I hope I can press B button in time. 
Climb over here, and it looks like there's a spot. I'll just pull myself up. It seems faster. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Boink! Alright. This direction. Oh, good God. That makes it easier. Um. Fun! Skulls and stuff. Haven't seen those before. Oh, Jesus! Gah! So that is an example of pressing the B button at the right time. Yeah, there's a treasure down there, but I'm going to skip it because I don't want to have to climb all the way back up there. Enter the shrine to Romulus. Okay, it's a little dark in here. Kind of hard to tell exactly. Where am I? Is this water? Okay, there's some sort of water. Interact. See if I can get in somehow. Claim the treasure of the followers. Of Wait, is that it? No way. Dang, that one was not bad. There have certainly been ones that were worse. Incense, one. Like, I, ac I actually like the climbing puzzles, but I'm really glad that not all of them are the crazy climbing puzzles. Because they do, after a while, get a bit monotonous. And, and they're pretty hard. And uh, I feel like they're probably not... The, the most entertaining thing to watch. I think it's a lot more interesting to watch me, like, chase down a dude, especially switching over to, like, horseback and stuff than it is to just climb things. And there's a lot of money. Got Buddhist prayer beats. I feel like there's one more. No? I guess not. Alright. Time to get this treasure. The treasure shall be mine! And it is this third scroll. Which means that we are mostly done. Scroll of Romulus Access Database. Let's check this one out. The first council has ended. Our problem is clear. Our response undetermined. Caesar moves away from the Senate, placing his trust in foreign rulers, adopting the ego and pomp of his Egyptian whore. He refuses to rise when he addresses us and scoffs at our concerns. He has created his own private Senate, filled with deceivers, manipulators, people who have no business in Roman affairs. My brothers are eager for blood, but I am not certain I can spill it. After my brothers left, I continued to explore the cavern. I found traces of whatever pulled me towards this place. Whispers. Light. Lights flickering through cracks in the earth. A doorway that is also a puzzle. I must find the solution. Hot dang! These keys unlock the secret treasure room of the followers of Romulus. Open the map to locate it. Return to Rome. Hooray! You know what I just realized? We've never bothered to get these treasures. And we're back. Yeah, the, um... Apparently, they, they tell us where the treasures are, but it's not actually giving us the treasure. It might be in our best interest to actually go get the freaking treasure. Something I hadn't really considered before. Uh, let's take a look here. We also have a new Corsina mission available, which is nice. Uh, doop -a doop -a doop boop So, Romulus treasure... Is that the only place on the map where... The, okay. How close are we? We're not far. Let's run over there and just see what that entails. Alright, so I am deep underground in... Uh, this is actually where one of the Borgia, ca Borgia captains was. Uh, one that was actually pretty hard to kill. I'm not sure where this is exactly, but it's got to be pretty nearby. I'm kind of wandering around in the dark at this point, but I know that it's got to be down here. I would say this is it. Also, little treasures. I like me some little treasures. And uh, I like me items the most. Let's see, interact. Recover all keys from the Scrolls of Romulus to interact with the gate. Okay, so unlike um, the other game where as you got a little... You, you, could, you could get pieces. I don't think you had to get them all together. You could just get things one by one. At least I think so. My memory might be failing. In this one, you have to get all of the scrolls once you get all the scrolls, you can get inside and get all that sweet stuff. And I like sweet stuff. All right, cool. Well, at least now I know. That's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we're getting even more items, which I'm pretty fond of. It's interesting that this is down here. I completely missed this. It's also really easy to miss. In fact, when you come down here, there's a ledge. Like, when you come in here, you don't even see it because you walk past it because you're looking at the tunnels. But if you go up there, that's where the lair of Romulus is. Well, not the lair, but you know what I mean. Where the treasure is. Um, with that being said, I believe we're probably going to move back into doing the story stuff next time. We're going to take care of the Borgia Towers between episodes. Also, um, recruit some people. 
get them on some missions to see if we can up their uh, experience quickly. And I'll see you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I should really grab that flag. Cesare persuaded King Louis to lend him an entire army to defeat me. I'm flattered. Where can I find him? It's only a matter of time before I have Valois by the throat. We have them in retreat. They seem to be getting closer. The situation is under control. Close the gate! Bene, so maybe I could use a little help.